And I love that you said it was two women that drew you to the faith, you know, yeah. your wife and her mother. You've said before your mother was, your mother-in-law was a, a praying woman. Oh, I can't imagine how many of us are here because we had a grandmother or a mother-in-law that prayed us in. What did you learn from her about prayer? Well, I believe she prayed me to where I am. You know, it's a crazy story. I know my, she was my girlfriend. I know her two weeks, right? I was sitting down with her mom and they were having breakfast, I think. And her mom looks at me out of nowhere and she says, Michael, where are you with your faith? I said, well, what do you mean? She said, well, where are you with your faith? You know, what do you practice? I said, well, I'm a Catholic. She said, okay. She said, uh, how strong is your relationship with God, right? And I said, well, I believe in God, you know, like that. So my, I'll never forget. My wife looks at her and says, Ma, please, but don't go too heavy. You know, I'm hoping for a Bible study during the week, maybe church service on Sunday. That's what she tells her mom. Right? And her mom looks at her and she says, I, I tell you the truth. This is the God's honor truth. She said, one day this man is going to be preaching the word of God to millions of people. Wow. I know her two weeks. This was the second time I sat with her. Now I'm looking at my, my girl. I'm saying, this, this woman's out there. There's something wrong with her, right? And that's exactly what I thought. I said, oh, she's got this Jesus thing going on. And so Cammy looked at her again and said, Ma, please. You know, maybe a church service. And she looks at her daughter and she says, why would you ever limit the power of Jesus Christ in anyone's life? And she goes next door and she says, I'm putting your name in my prayer book. She had a prayer book, like a telephone book. Awesome. And she said, I'm praying for you every single day. Wow. That woman prayed me to where I am. That's why I believe in the power of prayer. I got to tell you one more story with her. She died of cancer in 2001, breast cancer, right? Um, metastasized to her brain. She was living with me and, and my wife, and I was taking her to UCLA for treatment. She had chemo, right? But I was going to cure her. You know, I was going to fix it. I had her on 30 supplements, calling doctors all over the world. I got this handled. I'm going to cure her, right? She starts rejecting everything that I was doing. My wife is crying every night. She was one of seven kids. All the kids are upset. I get her in the car. We're going to UCLA, and I start to scold her. She had the bandana on her head. I said, Mom, why are you doing this? I'm trying to help you. You're rejecting. My wife's crying every night. And I'm telling you this. I get the chills again. She's sitting there like this. She turns over with this angelic look on her face, and she says, Son, I'm going home. I'm ready. Not a hint of fear, not one speck of doubt. And you know what? That was one of the most courageous things. Now, you're talking to a street guy. Right. All around these just macho guys. That was one of the most courageous things I've ever witnessed. You know why? Because I knew how she lived her life. And everything became even more real for me. I said, no God would ever abandon this woman. I said, she knows. She died two weeks later. Wow. In peace not a hint of fear. And I said, wow. So yeah, I mean, it was these women, no, wow. no doubt about it.